Hey, what's up guys? And welcome to another round, another round, another video, Hi. another session of Empower ED, where we're gonna talk about the tips and tricks that are gonna help electricians do their job better and DIYers save a little money by not having to call people. So I'm here with my buddy, Wade. How you doing? Wade, hey, <laughs> so before we started hitting record, we were talking about motivational speakers or motivational people. Is there someone, do you go to YouTube? Do you go to podcasts? Is there somebody that you like the most? Yeah, there's a guy that's, um, what is, like Mr. Electric, Electric University. Or... Oh, Electrician U. Yeah, Electrician yeah. U. Dude, yeah, those guys are cool. Mm -hmm. Sorry, keep going, keep going, keep yeah, going. He has, he has a bunch of stuff that he puts together. I think he has lots of good tips, tricks, uh, idea, knowledge that he brings down and puts it in a pretty practical aspect. That's, That's so funny, personality types, because I just said, who do you like as a motivational person? And he went straight tactics. He's like, there's this dude that's a great educator. I actually haven't watched it. I, I mean, I've uh -huh. kind of paid attention. Yeah. Is there any motivation or is it just straight like, hey, let's teach skills? Uh, I would say, I mean, I think, I think teaching yourself skills is the motivation. You want to be better, <laughs> don't you? That's what I would want to be. No, that's, that's true. That's, that's true. Um, no, that I'm is not, my motivation. I'm not saying you're wrong at all because you're right. <laughs> What matters most is the results. It's not the knowledge, it's the application, it's the execution, 100%. Mm -hmm. But when I think about motivators, it's funny. I think of like a Gary Vee or a Tony Robbins or an Andy Frisilla, um, people that are kind of more like, make you feel like you can run through the wall, not necessarily how to run through the wall. I would say whenever I was a kid, probably, Lou Holtz was a big motivational Ooh. guy for me. Who's that? You don't know who Lou, Lou Holtz uh -uh. is? No. How yeah, do you head, spell that? Head coach of Notre Dame. Okay, uh, dude, no, I do. I hate college football, NFL only. Well, you should check it out <laughs> a little bit. But yeah, he's since he's since moved on to doing other things. Um, but gotcha. yeah, he was he was a motivational speaker for me to kind of hear some of the things that he said and gotcha. how he would motivate his guys to want to do more, get the most out of them, the best he could. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Well, what are we going to talk about to, today, Wade? <sighs> I think it's a disaster that this I have does. in my house. Bro, we are gonna get so criticized. Like every electrician is gonna say like, no cover plate, bro. Like what the hell's going on here? This is a disaster. It's kind of how we're just starting. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it, it, it's a little bit of a mess. Well, we're moving parts, pieces in and out. Um, one of the guys that I had kind of putting this thing together, what he found out about this particular outlet is that the the industrial cover doesn't go on it. Mm. It doesn't fit. So it has it has its really? own regular cover. So you're going to want to put this in a in a residential application. But it's a 15 amp. Gotcha. You okay. know, just like what we showed. Yep. You know, 15 amp. And this is USB. We we yep. every every uh, parent knows what this is. Um, it's uh, my kids just steal these and take them to their rooms. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> it. And that's why I wanted to bring this point up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what what what? We've seen these, like Apple used to give you these, and now they give you, they don't even give you these. They give you these little little cords. They don't even give you this thing. You gotta buy this at Best Buy. Well, this is what always what, disappears. Yeah, what is, what, what, what is this and what is this? So really what this is, this is a transformer. It's actually stepping the voltage down to a usable voltage that'll end up charging your phone. Okay. Is what it has to do. Um, this particular one is a type C. A USB-C? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then what's this one? So that's just a, that's a USB. Why don't they call it USC and USB? I don't know. USC, well, that's where did A go? They skip it all? They just skipped A. I dude. suppose. <laughs> yeah, they just skipped it, went straight to B and C. <laughs> but the biggest thing I always have problem with is, like you said, this is what I always end up with. Here's the cord and nothing to plug anything into because they ran, ran off with it. Mm, they steal the transformers. I guarantee yeah. you somebody has tried to, I'd love to hear it in the comments, who's tried to take that USB-C and just plug it into, do not do that. Do not do that. <laughs> you, will, you will destroy your iPad if you do that. It will not go well. It, it's true, it's true. <laughs> cool, so what, so what do we do? What do we do? If we're gonna keep buying those off Amazon, people keep stealing them, we keep losing them, what can we do? We can't plug it into one of those ports. You got it. You got it. So what I would suggest, and they make many different types, they make it a, a USB outlet. Now we have the transformer that's built inside mm. of it. It's actually in the receptacle. We don't have to have that transformer anymore. Gotcha. Now there's one and thing. You could put these anywhere in your house? Yeah, you could put these anywhere in your house. You could put them in your kitchen counter, right where you charge your phone all the time. Uh, you could put it right beside your bed, by the headboard, Anywhere. 
Yeah. Okay. They can yeah. go anywhere the regular receptacle will go, and it will work just exactly the same. You can plug the vacuum cleaner in no matter what you want. You can do the, exactly the same thing, except now you have a place to plug in your phone. This one, will you can plug in two different ones, and they make them. Do they better. make USB-C? Yeah, they okay. do. They do. They make them in a combination of this USB and USB-C. Mm, okay. Yeah, you can get both. Well, and I even like, I don't know about you, I've got four kids, a wife, so I've got a lot of devices. I would almost wish there was a plug that just had these all the way down mm -hmm. there. I bet they do have those where it's mm -hmm. just four USB or four USB-C, where you mm -hmm. could just say, hey, this is the charging station. It's where you could just charge bring everything or, Yeah, just put it yeah. in there. Yeah. That's a really interesting concept. Mm -hmm. So you said that you could plug a vacuum in but eventually those are gonna go bad. Is there a way to test those? Is there a way to know if it's gone bad? Cause I'm gonna be completely honest. Mm -hmm. um, we have one of these at my house and the son of a bitch doesn't work anymore. Really? And so I'm about to replace it. Is there a way to test it? So there is a way to test it. Coffee shops, stop effing making metal cups. Thou mayest, Bo Nelson, you know I love you. I don't love this cup. Keep burning my damn lip every sip of coffee thing is freaking nuclear hot. <laughs> All right, back to you, Wade. Let me be a man over here and melt my lips. <laughs> so as we were talking prior, uh, Josh has got one that's in his, in his house that doesn't work right now. He's not sure why it doesn't work. He doesn't know. Maybe it's the cord, you know, because the cords do go bad. We plug them in. They move all of this all the time. And we need to be able to tell, hey, does the outlet work? Do I need a new cord? What do I need? Well, Klein has a little testing device that you can plug in and you can test it and see what the output of the actual USB port is. So we can see obviously as it comes right on in the first bits, it turns on so we know we are obviously getting power out of it. You can do different tests on it. You can see that we're getting, that it's charging. Oh, that's cool. So, yep, mm -hmm. and then if I unplug it, you you unplug go, it should it. go back down yep. to zero. It'll go back down to zero. Well, maybe, yeah. but it's gonna hold a little bit of a charge. So there's a little bit of voltage, mm -hmm. no amps. Amps yep. are what's pulling. Yep. Plug it back in. Plug it back in. Dude, that is freaking cool. Yeah. That is really, really cool. Now, question, I, I noticed- This also is gonna test your cord. How does it test the cord? Well, if the cord wasn't if the cord wasn't uh, good, it wouldn't yeah, be charging yeah. and it wouldn't start drawing. There we go. But because we know we have power because it's lit up. So it shows us exactly what it is that we're trying to do. It's got different modes to switch around, but unplug your phone and then it'll go back to where it needs to be. And I know that in the, so in, in previous videos, we've talked about, we want electricians to get better. So an electrician knowing this, I didn't even know this, that there was a device like this <clears throat> that could help you t troubleshoot this, okay? Rather than guessing, rather than, because here's the frustration, frustrating thing. You change out this plug, and you plug your defective cord in, it still doesn't work. You just spent $25, $30 on a plug that wasn't the problem where you could have just replaced the cord. Makes mm -hmm. you a better, better electrician. The same exact thing, how much does this charger cost? This little uh, tester. This device? I think it was 25 bucks. Okay, so it's $25, okay? Now imagine if you are a homeowner, a wife, a guy that doesn't want to change out the device, but they wanna save time and money, they have one of these devices, they're able to call Empowered Electric, call Wade and say, hey Wade, I watched your video, I have this Klein model, whatever, blah, 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 I've tested the plug, it is the plug. Can you come replace it? I need a white one. You've saved so much time and money in troubleshooting, all you gotta save is like 15 minutes of the electrician's time and you've already paid for this. Yeah. So like, it's an investment in your bank account to go buy one of these or to buy that GFI tester that you had talked about. So it's not just a tool for electricians. Klein is really changing the game. Is there a USB-C? Can you just like unplug this and plug in another one for You know, USB -C? this particular one doesn't have that. Um, it doesn't have that, but I'm sure that there's some adapters that we can put yeah. on it oh, that would come it. with it. This particular one was this. I'll, Klein, I'll, if you haven't already, take Wade's advice and make an adapter where you can plug it into a <laughs> USB-C. Um, but that's a that's a really, really cool tool right there. Well, the, I think one of the biggest things about all of this is to educate the electrician. Sometimes you need to buy tools. Sometimes you need to have these things. And 
This basically now lets you become aware of what exists, what's out there, what you can get. For part of being a good electrician is to educate yourself, to know what's available and what we can do. There was one more thing that I wanted to add to this, is that not all of these outlets are the same. Different ones will charge up. There's companies around that will say, hey, we'll throw a free USB in if you just give us a call. Nah, they're gonna buy the cheapest one. You're gonna go into Home Depot and say, well, which one do I want? Well, there's one for $15, there's one for $30. What's the difference? Well, best thing I can say is it's a matter of how fast they charge. There's some of them that are a one milliamp. Yeah, you'll plug your cell phone in and it'll take 10 hours to charge. <laughs> That's not really what you want. If you go ahead and spend the money and buy something better or a better electrician is gonna recommend, say a five milliamp or a six milliamp charge, it's gonna charge your phone in about an hour and a half, two hours, and from basically clear dead. And boom, you're charged up. You got your, your, your watch is ready to be charged, all your devices, everything, it's ready to go. Now you have a way to test it. Now you know the difference between good outlets and junk outlets. Now you're ready to go. Yeah. Hey, I just want to take a second and talk to electricians for a second right now. Now, I know this is going to cause a lot of hate really right now, but imagine we're installing this plug or we're talking about this plug. I want to, I want, I want to ask the, uh, the viewers who looks more professional right now, me or Wade, who looks more ready to get the job done, me or Wade, right? Always take a knee. Now I know some of you are going to be like, Man, that's bad on my knees, bro. Like, I got to do this all day. I'm not taking a knee like that. Tell me who's ready to get after it. Who's ready to work? If somebody came through that door right now, who are they going to take serious? Wade, ready to work, taking a knee, or me sitting Indian style, scooching around here. You know, sorry, I said Indian style. I know that's cultural appropriation and offensive and all this. I'm sitting crisscross applesauce, okay? <laughs> Sometimes, you know, we, we, uh, in kindergarten, that's what they always said, okay? That's what so I always heard. I apologize. I'm sitting crisscross applesauce. You see guys on job sites sitting like this. I'm telling you right now, this is not an impressive thing. No one is taking you serious. Even if you are fast AF, they're gonna be like, that guy is not getting after it. So you don't have to necessarily wear a button up shirt tucked in. But do not sit like this. But Actually, you should. You should. You should. You should. You look great. You look great. So, anyways, back to the program. Awesome. Well, wait. As we wrap this up, USB plugs are absolutely essential. Get a couple of them. Get one by your bed, like you said. One in the common area, so people can plug it in. Maybe a charging drawer. Maybe yep. do a video on that. Like in your kitchen, you have a drawer that you just plug everything into, keep it all well, nice We're getting and so many USB things for everything. Oh, all these little everything. bitty chargers for all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Have them everywhere. Yeah, so those are those are a great buy. They're completely worth it. Um, you had mentioned a college coach for Notre Dame. I had just thought about this whenever you said, sometimes as an electrician, you gotta, you gotta buy some tools. Uh, uh, Nick Saban, mm -hmm. the, one yeah. of the greatest coaches, coach yeah, for yeah. Alabama. Mm -hmm. I just saw a clip where he said, um, are you spending your time or investing your time? And he said, losers always spend, winners invest. And so don't think about these tools as, oh man, I'm spending my money. You're investing in yourself. You're investing in your craft. You're investing in your future. So yeah, while it might cost $25, you're going to get a raise because you're going to be the per people that they, they trust and they know they can do their job. So, 100%. Absolutely. Thanks a ton. So USB plugs are handled. Be sure to hit subscribe. Hear more from Wade.